For those just joining in, you're listening and watching the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program coming to you from the International and General Assembly of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles' Faith. Our address is 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where Pastor Gino Jennings, our leader, teacher, guide, and general overseer. Now you can write or email us for any of the following, a current listing of all our radio and television stations, a listing of our church locations both within and outside the United States, a listing of biblical literature written by Pastor Jennings and the Church's Magazine, the Truth of God Journal, the third edition, which is now available for five U.S. dollars. A cassette recording of this, the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program, can also be obtained at the cost of five U.S. dollars. However, when writing and requesting copies of this broadcast, we'd always ask that you indicate the program number clearly, clearly within your correspondence. Now, today's or tonight's program number is 500. Once again, a cassette recording of this, the Truth of God radio and television program, can also be obtained at the cost of five U.S. dollars. However, when writing in and requesting copies of this broadcast, we'd always ask that you indicate the program number clearly, clearly within your correspondence. Now, today's or tonight's program number is our 500th broadcast since we began broadcasting approximately nine or ten years ago. Wonderful. March the 4th, I believe, was 1990. <laughs> March the 4th, 1990 is when our first broadcast was aired, and this is our 500th broadcast, and you're also watching the 11th National Holy Men's Convocation. So it's an easy number to remember. Now, if you desire to have the gospel preached in your area by Pastor Jennings, or have questions regarding this program, or simply regarding the scriptures, again, you may address all your correspondence to Pastor Gino Jennings. That's Pastor Gino Jennings, First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles' Faith. Again, if you're watching or listening for the first time, our address is 2431. That's 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where Pastor Gino Jennings, our general overseer, and again, the zip code is 19125. You can also email us. Our email address is truthofgodaterrells.com. Once again, our email address, truthofgodaterrells.com. You can also visit us on the World Wide Web. Our internet address is www.truthofgod.com. Once again, if you can, visit us on the internet. Our internet address is www.truthofgod.com, and there you'll find both audio and video versions of this broadcast. Now, quickly to our French-speaking listeners. Nos saint salutations à tous nos auditeurs francophones au nom de Jésus-Christ. Nous sommes la vérité du dire. Programme radiophonique avec le pasteur Gino Jennings. Cette émission vous parvient de la première église de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ, de la foi apostolique, située à 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, à Philadelphie, Pennsylvanie, 1925, aux États-Unis d'Amérique. La vraie plan de salut de Dieu demande le repentez et le baptême dans l'eau au nom de Jésus-Christ pour l'absolution de vos péchés et que vous sauviez le cadeau du Saint-Esprit comme il est écrit dans la Bible. Nous vous invitons à notre clair pour recevoir une documentation gratuite en français ou en anglais intitulée « Êtes-vous honné, femme prédicatrice et Jésus-Christ est Dieu tout puissant <coughs> ». Encore une fois, nous vous rappelons notre adresse Première église de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ, de la foi apostolique, 24, 31, Frankfurt Avenue, à Philadelphie, Pennsylvanie, 1925, aux États-Unis d'Amérique. Dieu vous bénisse, nous espérons avoir de vos nouvelles très prochainement. That's to our French-speaking listeners now. I'm honored to present unto you the servant of God and general overseer, our leader, teacher, and guide, and messenger of the Almighty God, Pastor Gino Jennings. Fill with God. I'm filled with God. Yes, I'm washed and cleansed and filled. And filled with God. Oh, I'm washed and cleansed and filled. Thank God I'm filled. Yes, I'm filled with God. Oh, I'm washed and cleansed. And fill, and fill with God. Oh, I'm filled with God. 
the truth of God radio and television program back in your hearings again from First Church of our Lord Jesus Christ <clears throat> the Bible says to us there is one God Amen. Amen. we thank him for his divine wisdom Amen. and his eternal understanding of all things Amen. The one God that rules heaven and earth Alone. Amen. Amen. We can never thank him enough for sending the prophets and the apostles out with a true divinely inspired message. That is to wake the people up to God's divine will. Amen. Amen. That message haven't changed, viewers and listeners, and you that are here. You have to find out God's will in order to wish up God properly. Amen. Amen. We thank God for this program. 500. <laughs> That's one for Israel. <coughs> that don't mean we only preach 500 times. <laughs> 
You can't even count the many times that we preach the word of God. Amen. Amen. But we are thankful moreover for the provisions thus far God have made for us. Amen. We're at the close of another year, mm -hmm. another millennium, Amen. Amen. another century. About to close out and I'm thankful that when it go out we can still say we were blessed with truth. Amen. 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 Year 2000 will not bring no new religion for us. No, no. Is that right, brethren? Amen. <laughs> not at all will it bring any new religion for us. No, no. He will still be the one God of the 21st century like he have always been of all centuries. Amen. 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 Now I'm persuaded that the devil is going to try to bring something that men never heard. Right. Amen. But God Almighty already have it locked down under prophecy. That's right. Amen. That if an angel come from heaven. Amen. Every century that roll around, that's, that's locked down under that. That's right. If an angel come from heaven and preach any other gospel that differ from what the apostles preached, then let the angels be a curse. Amen. Well, the word of God have sealed heaven and earth. So all viewers and listeners, this program is on the air for one purpose. <coughs> It's a wake-up call. That's right. You know, there's some folks that love to sleep. Mm -hmm. Especially when that bed and pillow is just right. Amen. You don't want to hear no alarm clock. You don't want no one to shake you. <laughs> you don't even want the light turned on in your room. You may throw something. That's right. This is an alarm. Wake you up out of your sleep, listeners and viewers. Amen. Hoping that you will take heed before your end come. Amen. Because it's coming. That's right. We're closing out this men's conference, and I tell you, it has been a good one, God knows. Amen. Amen. You that missed the dedication yesterday in Del Mar, Delaware at the New Temple, <laughs> you missed a wonderful service. Amen. It is always good to be where the presence of God is. Amen. That's right. Amen. Now, you can go in a lot of places. That's labeled house of worship. Right. Presence of God is in there. That's right. I don't want no church where the power of God is not present. Mm -hmm. I don't want no church like that. No. Now, unless get into some detail you can go to a church where folks are filled with the Holy Ghost but truth is still not preached that's true that's right amen that's right have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue and jumping that's right but the word of the Lord not preached amen which lets me know it is more than receiving the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's right. For me to continue in God's way, I got to hear something. Got to hear. Amen. That I helped me after I have the Spirit of the Living God. That's Amen. right. So we are forever thankful to all the radio stations that were brave enough and is brave enough to air the most outspoken program that is aired on your station today. Amen. Amen. We're thankful for the stations that would not tamper with our tapes. Amen. Because it have been tampered with in some stations. Amen. I have been in locations and listen at our broadcasts and Stations obviously were offended by these sayings and they 
tampered. Right. And I called some stations while the program was on and they lied. <laughs> and said, well, we, we didn't bother at Pastor Jennings. I said, well, where the blanks were, I said some things. Amen. <laughs> I ought to know I was there. <laughs> you understand? Amen. But we're thankful for the radio station that wouldn't bother us. <laughs> There's a station in Burnsville, North Carolina, in a very racist area up there in the mountains. Uh, when they aired our program, we received radical resistance. Mm -hmm. And men that was on the station in Burnsville years before we got on there threatened the owner that they would pull out mm -hmm. unless he compromised and cancel us. Mm -hmm. He let them know if you want to go, you go, but Jen and stay. Yeah. Amen. This gospel need to be preached on every station in the world. That's right. All day, every day, Amen. all night. Mm -hmm. This is not a hustling program. No, no. These international evangelists are international hustlers. That's right. That's why they got schemes and make money fast. Oh, yeah. Touch it, claim it. That's not God's way. No, no. That's hustling. That's right. Lesson plan. Hustling. That's right. Ike says you can't lose with the stuff he used. Hustling. That's right. We got nothing to offer but Bible. Amen. No racketeering. No, no. No games mm -hmm. we don't tell you that you get so many amount of blessings based upon the dollars you have you can be blessed of God and don't have a dime that's right amen amen <coughs> out of all the years that have come and gone you would think that religion would have gotten better that's right. oh yeah but have getting worse and worse. The preachers are becoming more and more worldly. That's right. You turn the radio and television on, all you have is a bunch of sinners. That's all. With the name of Jesus in their mouth. Amen. I stayed over in Salisbury, Maryland after the dedication service in Delmar, Delaware last night and before I came in this morning, I was listening to some international <laughs> men. Amen. Some of them tell a lot of good truth. Mm -hmm. I was listening to Charles Stanley and <laughs> good teacher on basic things. Yeah. Come on, preacher, come on. I give credit where credit is due. That's right. Even though he ain't baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and don't have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue and don't believe it, but earthly things. Yeah. You don't need the Spirit to understand earthly things. No, no. Then I switched over and looked at for about a minute or two of BET. I just couldn't tolerate it. Amen. We got to get on that station. Oh, yeah. See, I'm not afraid. That's why I call anybody name. <laughs> That's right. All names. Amen. That's right. Had a program. <laughs> believe it's called Bobby Jones Gospel. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Am I right? That's right. And the C 
sissy looking acting man. Amen. The half naked makeup wearing breasts hanging out half naked women. Amen. Supposed to represent God mm -hmm. singing and stepping. That's right. This contemporary rubbish. Amen. That you viewers and listeners cater to mm -hmm. like flies cater to dung. That's right. Because rubbish is filth. Filth. And flies love filth. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Amen. Amen. I'm going to get Bible for this. For this. That's right. Better give me the book of Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 10. Chapter 10. And at the first verse. And verse 1. Dead flies. Dead flies. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hmm. Dead flies. Amen. Cause the ointment. Cause the ointment. Of the apothecary. Of the apothecary. To send forth. To send forth. A stinking savior. A stinking savior. Amen. 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 That's what the preachers are. They are mm -hmm. horse flies. Horse flies. That's right. Go ahead, Pastor. Yeah, the larger ones. Go ahead. Go ahead. Amen. That's right. They were. Listen at the Bible. In Jeremiah chapter 5 and at verse 8. They were. As fed. As fed. Horses. Amen. In the morning. In the morning. Everyone neighed. And the preachers they neigh After his neighbor's wife. Amen. That's right. Women chasers. That's right. This is what is on television now. Amen. Drama. Amen. Christian drama. That's right. That's right. Entertainment. Amen. Just taking up space. Mm-hmm. And the stations that air religious program should have the people soul at heart Amen. enough not to feed them the junk, junk. that is being fed to them, mm -hmm. but it's all about ratings. That's, That's right. That's all. That's so to get ratings, let a transvestite preach. Amen. That's right. Oh, yeah. To get ratings. Mm -hmm. Let a lesbian preach. Amen. But when we're on <laughs> static, static, blackout, <laughs> that's right. Something happened to the sound. Amen. Plug is pulled, but the picture is seen, the mouth is moving, can't hear nothing. Can't hear. <laughs> Amen. But um, give us time. That's right. And those that have been around us know. <laughs> Give us time. Oh, yeah. God will certainly make provisions for us. We're looking to have our own radio station and our own Amen. satellite television station. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. Some folks say, well, I don't believe in television. You ain't got to watch it. That's right. <laughs> you don't have to watch it if you don't want to. You don't have to watch but it. But it's still going to be preached. It's going to be preached. Amen. I'm sad I don't listen to the radio. That's all right. Before you get away from here, God going to make sure you hear it, hear it or see it to give you a chance to obey it and reject it. That's right. That's right. One way or the other. Oh, yes. It's going to get to you. Oh, yeah. All right. We're about to dive into the Bible. Amen. Viewers, mm -hmm. get ready for it. Come on out of your bedroom. Amen. 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 Tell your preacher we're on. <laughs> that way he can learn something. Perhaps he can tell you the truth today. That's right. Call your family. Call your relatives. Mm -hmm. Tell them, come on around the radio. Come on around the fire. You That's know, right. about this time of year, folks gather around the fire. That's right. <laughs> 
Amen. See, I got to get you television viewers. Already got the radio listeners. <laughs> That's right. But I got to get you television viewers mm -hmm. who's getting ready for <laughs> Christmas. That's right. <laughs> getting ready for it. See, I haven't got the chance to get the, ready, the television folk yet. <laughs> That's right. About Christmas. That's right. <laughs> Amen. We already got the radio folk. Oh, yeah. But you viewers, you love to see Christmas. That's right. You go out and buying trees. Coming in this morning, I saw two trucks hauling <laughs> trees. Trees. That's hauling them. Amen. You know, I got brothers that got their own tractor trailer business and their own trucks. Mm -hmm. You can't haul trees. Oh, no. Not for Christmas, no how. That's right. If you own a lot, own a business, and got plenty of ground, Amen. you can't lease the ground out or rent it out so folk can set up trees mm -hmm. for Christmas. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Happy is the man that condemneth not himself in that thing in which he allowed. That's right. All right, you viewers, I just want to get your tree. Mm-hmm. Amen. I want to get the tree and turn it down. Amen. Take your little decorations and don't pack them away. Throw them out. Throw them out. Christmas is a spell from hell. That's right. <coughs> Bible never told you that the 25th of December was Jesus' birthday. No, no. And you Jews that watch me, you know it don't teach that. Amen. You know, Jewish brothers and sisters, no place in the Torah. That's right. Which is the Old Testament. Amen. Amen. Where any of the prophets put a date on the arrival of the Messiah. That's right. So you are hypocrites. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. To have places of business mm -hmm. and make millions of dollars this time of year at a time that you know is an international lie. Amen. Amen. You are religious Old Testament reading hypocrites. That's right. For how can you go around talking about Moses and don't believe what Moses said? What he said. Amen. That make you hypocrite. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Amen. So you'll find the little old dirty plastic statues. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Of a little boy. That's right. In a manger. In a manger. Amen. Deer. Uh huh. Rabbits. That's right. Little goats. Amen. Gathering around, supposed to see the master. Yeah. That's Jesus right. is not clay. No, no. No, no. He's God. God. Amen. The maker of clay. That's right. That's right. I'm clay. Amen. This is clay. Oh, yeah. But God is the potter. That's right. And we are the clay. Amen. You understand? Amen. All right, I want to get the business world and mm -hmm. the human family. Everyone that watched this program and, and listened to it, don't you patronize Kmart? Go ahead. Strawbridges? Amen. Sam Goody? Amen. Amen. Go ahead, Pastor. Macy's? Amen. That's right. J.C. Penny? Amen. Amen. Don't you patronize no business in the world that can do Christmas? Amen. Go ahead. Don't let them make money off you. That's right. Because any business that uphold Christmas, mm -hmm. the business owner is a multi-billionaire heathen. Amen. Amen. Who's a rich heathen? A rich heathen. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. That goes for you too, Clinton. Amen. Go ahead. <laughs> oh yes. Go ahead. That goes for Ed Randell, the mayor of Philadelphia. Amen. Him too. This time of year, the mayor 
have a tree lighting ceremony. Yeah. That's right. Make a lot of fuss over electricity and twigs. That's right. You folk that celebrate Christmas, most of you don't even believe in Jesus. No, they don't. That's right. You don't even worship Jesus. That's right. You are drunk every December. Amen. You party hardy every December. Oh, yeah. Because you know that that's the season for the devil. That's right. That's right. And you know good so-called churches. Amen. Who will have a Christmas party. Oh, yeah. In the fellowship hall or the sanctuary mm. for the so-called people of God. That's right. Rapping. That's right. Christian rappers. Rappers. Amen. 10th chapter of the book of Jeremiah says, Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Hear. Hmm. Talking, he's talking to Jews here. The Jews here. That's right. Hear, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord. God is talking. Learn not the way of the heathen. A heathen. Heathen. Amen. A heathen. That's right. That's right. I'll let, I'll let you know that heathens give lessons in heathenism. Amen. That's what the Bible said. Learn not the way of the heathen. That's right. Because heathens give lessons in heathenism. Amen. No one can teach you to be a heathen better than a heathen. Better than a heathen. That's right. Huh? That's right. Glory to God. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Learn not the way of the heathen. What? And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Why? For the heathen are dismayed at them. The heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain. Listen. Amen. The customs of the people of the people are vain. Are vain. Vain. Mm -hmm. What else? For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Let us look at what the heathens do. Amen. That goes for anybody here. That's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. Amen. Just in case I got any heathen visiting me this afternoon. <laughs> That's right. All heathens All are heathens. welcome to come. Amen. I don't change the fact you're still a heathen. That's right. That's right. So and said, don't you insult me. My name ain't Jeremiah, you heathen. Amen. Amen. Oh, if you yeah. got a business, Amen. you don't even give your employees a Christmas bonus and you in the church. That's right. We don't condone Christmas. Don't. That's right. We don't even accept the Christmas bonus. Amen. When we're in the church, because it condone heathenism. Don't you? That's right. Amen. That's right. Our children don't indulge in exchanging in Pollyanna giving in school. Amen. Heathenism. Heathenism. That's right. We don't put reefs on our doors. That's right. Heathenism. That's right. Customs of the people. No mistletoes. Amen. Heathenism. Amen. We don't go by plastic angels. That's right. Bible said make no image of anything, of anything that is in heaven. heaven. That's right. No image of it. You make white skinned, blind haired, blue eyed angels. Amen. And brown skinned, brown eyed, dreadlock angels. That's right. That's right. You understand? Amen. The angels that God made are spirit. Spirit. Uh huh. I don't know what color they are. No. And don't care. That's right. Learn not. Learn not the way of the heathen. See, a lot of you folk looking at me, you don't know this is wrong. No. That's why when your preacher's television program go off, sometimes the his cameramen decorate the screen with That's right. little ornaments. That's right. And then before you go off, it says season greetings. Yes. <laughs> it ain't you know he's a heathen about to go he's off the air. Amen. Amen. All right, listen. Amen. 
Oh, and say, well, what's wrong with it? Jesus was born sometime. That's true. That's true. But Jesus said, when you believe on him, as the you got to believe said. on him as the scripture says. scripture says. And the Bible don't have a date and man don't have the authority to conjure up something. That's right. That's right. Who told you his birthday was December 25th? Amen. Who told you, Who told you that? Told you that? A heathen told you. That's right. That's right. Then you have Santa Claus. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, Pastor. Amen. Amen. No one ever got on television and spoke out against old man Santa. No. Now it's Santa time. Santa's turn. All right, listen. Amen. Santa Claus is a myth. That's right. It's a lie. A lie. Amen. There have never been mm -hmm. a Santa Claus flying around the world being pulled on a sled by magic deer. Amen. That's right. Coming down your chimney. Coming Stop chimney. lying to your children, parents. Amen. Tell them the truth. Tell them the truth. That's right. You take them to these apartment stores, department stores, and here's an employee sitting there uh -huh. with a red suit. Amen. And your daughter hmm. and your son. That's right. Sit on the lap of some of these men who are child molesters. Child molesters. Amen. That's right. And you got them sitting on their lap. Amen. And he made promises that he can't keep, nor can the parents afford. That's right. You know, good well on a day like the day of somebody coming down your chimney, you call the police. <laughs> Amen. Yes, you will. Or you're going to build a fire and burn them up. Burn them up. That's right. That's right. Truth is out of the ordinary. Amen. So when we preach this, we're going against the grain of religion. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Because the program that come on before us and after us commercialize Christmas. That's right. The radio programs commercialize Christmas. Amen. Amen. No program is against it. No. Humbug with Christmas. <laughs> That's right. If there was a man that name was Scrooge, he had the right spirit. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Huh? Amen. <laughs> if there ever was such a one. That's right. He had the right spirit until he <laughs> had some visitors. Some visitors. Amen. That converted that hypocrite. <laughs> That's right. Right. Look how hypocritical Christmas is. Mm -hmm. You cuss and party mm -hmm. and murder and rape and fornicate and smoke and sell crack and mm -hmm. give liquor and all this wickedness. Wickedness. Amen. And now on Christmas Day, everybody's nice. That's right. You just slap your wife all over the place Christmas Eve. Amen. And gave for a steak on Christmas Day to put on a black eye. My Lord. Amen. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Amen. The Bible says what? Learn not the way of the heathen. What does heathens do? For the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. They save you from cutting. Mm -hmm. They go cut it and set it up on the corners everywhere. Five dollars, twenty-five dollars for a tree. That's right. And then after New Year's, you throw your $25 right out. Throw it out. Wasting Amen. money. That's right. It is written, why spend money for that which is not, not bread? bread? That's right. Why spend money for that which is unprofitable? Amen. What else? For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. And what they do? The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Yes. They deck it. This is what you do on Christmas, viewers. They deck it. Listen up, you heathens that looking at me. Look at me. Look at me, heathen. Amen. This is what you do. They deck it. I want you to look at your tree. 
That's and right. And look at the Bible. That's right. Look at your tree. Amen. Look at the Bible. That's right. That's right. This is what you do now. They deck it. They deck it. With silver. With silver. And with gold. And gold. Oh, oh they yeah. just as happy. Happy. Oh, yeah. Just walking around it. That's right. A little Christmas carol playing in the side. That's right. Just going around it, decking it. Decking it. Amen. Children all excited. Oh, yes. Some of you struggling, they get in debt and they want to call on God to get you out of get debt. You out. That's right. That's right. Is that right? Amen. Amen. What did the Bible say? They deck it with silver and with gold. They deck it with silver mm -hmm. and gold. Listen, how can a man say he's a God sent preacher, oh, a yeah. representative of Christ, mm -hmm. and don't preach against don't Christmas? Preach. That's right. So your international evangelistic liar that you love to hear and see it is proof they're false prophets. Amen. Because if they was of God, they have the same spirit same that spirit. Jeremiah had. That's right. Yes, they would. That's right. The same spirit in Jeremiah. That's got right. to be in a man of God today. Hey, that's right. To see the things that the prophets saw. That's right. That's right. Got, got to, to see the same thing. Same thing. Amen. What did it say? They deck it with silver. You deck it with silver. And with gold. And gold. They fasten it with nails. Oh, they fasten it with nails. And with hammers. You know, they even get over the air and tell you about a solution that you can put together to preserve the tree. That's right. Amen. Some type of bleach and molasses and something else. Uh huh. Tree preserve. Tree preserve. That's right. You Put lights all over lights your on. roof, mm -hmm. all over your lawn, all over your bushes, all over your windows. Amen. And then praying how you going to pay this light bill. That's right. That's right. Heathens. You are heathen. Heathen. Amen. That's what you are. You're That's a heathen. You That's and right. the Bible tell you don't take lessons of heathenism. Of heathenism. Learn not. It says learn not. The way of the heathen. Learn not. One thing about a lie, it traveled for centuries. Oh, yeah. This Christmas lie been around for years. Amen. Been around. Many of us used to do it, didn't we? Oh, yes. Didn't we? Amen. Didn't we? Amen. Just wasting money. Wasting money. Mm -hmm. Shopping around, shopping around. Christmas was drawing nigh, and some of us panicked. That's right. Because we didn't have enough gifts. Right. And you're busy worrying about what other folk going to think of you. That's if right. If you didn't give them a gift and they ain't gave you nothing. Amen. That's right. You ought to give gifts. Mm -hmm. The greatest gift you can give God is yourself. Self. That's right. Amen. Through obedience. Amen. And submitting to his divine will. That's right. That's right. All of you. That's right. Every last one of you. All of you. Amen. That goes for any church. Amen. Any so called house of God. That's right. Any politician. That's right. Any congressman. Amen. Any king, any duke, any prince. Oh, yes. You are heathen. Heathen. And everyone that said Jesus was born December 25th, you tell a lie on God. Tell a lie on him. That's right. And God says, all liars shall have their part in the lake. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. All liars. All liars. Shall have their part in the lake. In the lake. In the lake. You don't mean Lake Michigan either. Oh no. That burn with fire. And brimstone. And brimstone. That's right. Now, you got to have the same spirit. Same spirit. That God gave the prophets and the apostles. Let's work on that. Second Corinthians chapter four. Follow me in the Bible. Second Corinthians chapter four. And at verse thirteen. Verse thirteen. Second Corinthians chapter four. Chapter four. Verse thirteen. Verse thirteen. We having the glory to God. Amen. We, we having, having the same spirit of faith. See, we don't only want to be believers. No. 
We want to be disciples of what we believe. That's right. You have millions of believers. Millions of believers. But you don't have a lot of disciples. That's right. When you are a disciple, you follow the belief that Christ laid down. That's right. Many of you watching me now, you're a believer. Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh, yeah. But you're not a disciple. That's right. See, when you're a disciple, you fall into a different class. Yes. A believer can be a hearer. That's right. And believe what they hear. Amen. But don't only be a hearer of the word, but a what? Doer. A doer. That's right. As he spake these Listen words. Listen at the Bible. St. John chapter 8 and at verse 30. John 8 and 30. As he spake these words. As he spake these words. Many believed <coughs> on him. Many believed on him. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. What? If he continue in my word. Now you got to act upon what you believe. That's right. If you continue in my word. Then. Then. Are ye my disciples indeed? There's some action got to be done, viewers and listeners. That's right. God wants some obedience. That's right. Now listen at what the Bible says and listen closely and look at yourself that call yourself a Christian. Back in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 13. All right. We having the same spirit of faith. The same spirit hmm. of faith. That means we have the same spirit of belief mm -hmm. that those in the scriptures had. That's right. Uh -huh. According as it is written, you see that? Mm -hmm. We have the same spirit of faith according to theology. According as it is written. Amen. According to philosophy. According as it is written. According to seminary school. According as it is written. Amen. We have the same spirit of faith according to. To as it is written, I believed. I believe and, was written, and therefore, and therefore, have I spoken. I speak was written. We also believe. We also believe, and therefore speak. And therefore speak. That's right. Oh, yeah. I, I said enough. The priest of Jesus come. Oh yeah. There's a whole lot that's written. There's a whole lot that's written. Viewers, listeners, Amen. we're going to test your Christianity today. Mm -hmm. To my visiting Christian friends, Amen. we're going to find out oh, yeah. whether we're really a Christian or just got the label. That's right. That's, That's right. all right, isn't it? Amen. See, millions. Mm -hmm. Got the label. Oh, yeah. And millions of people and businesses and churches and religions have adopted the label Christian. Christian. That's right. And most of them don't even know the meaning of the word, what the word represents. Amen. Christian means I'm Christ like. Christ like. That's right. Viewers and listeners, mm -hmm. you that say you are Christians, mm -hmm. my question is, are you Christ-like? That's it. Good question. You're Christ-like? My Lord. Some of you Christians now are looking at me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. That's right. Am I right, boys? Amen. Amen. That's not like Christ. That's not like Christ. That's right. Some of you are looking at me now in squatting position on the side, leaning under your chair, popped over a beer. Amen. I got your attention. Oh, yeah. That beer, that Budweiser. That's right. That's right. That bun light. Amen. That malt lick of the bull. Amen. That's not like Christ. No, no. No way. Some of you went and opened up your bottle of vodka mm -hmm. and your quart of orange juice. Amen. 
or your bottle of vodka and your eggnog. That's right. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? That's right. Listening to the program mm -hmm. and watching the program mm -hmm. and you say you was a Christian, Christian, but why do you got a quart of liquor? That's right. Amen. That's not like Christ. No, no. No, no. Then there's some of you watching me mm -hmm. laying in bed Oh yeah. Amen. Amen. With somebody else's husband. That's right. Oh yes. Laying in bed with someone else's husband because your first husband is still alive. Still living. That's right. And you say you's a Christian adulteress. My Lord. That's not like Christ. No, it's not. No, no. Do you understand? Amen. If we have the same spirit, spirit. Mm -hmm. then the way that the prophets and the children of God in the scriptures act and respect right. and submit it to God's divine will. That's right. Then... Amen. We must respect and humble ourselves and obey that same divine will now. That's right. If not, don't say you're the Christian. That's right. Don't say it. You think Amen. the meaning of Christian is going to some church? My Lord. On Sunday? Amen. Carrying a Bible? That's right. Singing hymns? Mm hmm being an usher mm -hmm. a deacon amen the organist or the drummer my lord that's not Christianity it's not Christianity when you examine the Christ that walked earth mm. bodily form of man that's right his life was governed by the spirit and the flesh lived a disciplined life mm. of denial denial Amen. Not this modern, mm -hmm. contemporary, Christian trash. That's right. Not that. No, or no, no. sissy Christian. Amen. Amen. When you gays get together mm -hmm. and march on New York. Amen. March on Washington. That's right. March in Pennsylvania. Amen. And some of you say, well, I'm a gay Christian. Gay Christian. That's right. My Lord. Some of you politicians. Amen. That pass bills so they give the gay community freedom and leverage to be dogs. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. You say you are Christians. Christians. Christ denounced mm -hmm. men with men. Yeah, with men, that's right. Women with women. With women. That's, right. that's right. That's right. Amen. All right, listen. Amen. A so called Christian politician going to the gay community to get votes. Yeah, that's right. We had an article here before we start our telecast. A transvestite church was opening up, I believe, somewhere in the Delaware Valley. Yes. Amen. Drag Queen Temple. My Lord. Old and young Christian drag queens. You see, My Lord. listeners and viewers, say to know mm -hmm. that you don't know what the word Christian means. That's right. That's why he give it to you and you use it free. That's right. He know you don't know what it means. Don't know what it means. And he know that you're not like Christ. Amen. Because you have no morals, no ethics. That's right. No type of law to govern you. That's right. God's law. Amen. Is what make us to be like him be like in him. this earth. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. You ain't like Christ, woman. 
Amen. Would have split from your ankle up to your hips? No, no. No way. Amen. You ain't like Christ with a wig on? No, no. Brother, you ain't like Christ arching your eyebrows? That's right. Wearing lipstick? That's right. You ain't like, like Christ, Christ laying on the operating table of some doctor getting your male organs taken off and he's trying to fashion that man's body right. like a woman? That's right. Amen. You ain't like Christ. Not like Christ. No, no. So if the TV and Go radio ahead. preachers Go ahead. were like Christ, Amen. why don't they preach what you hear us preach? That's right. That's right. Christ is God. Amen. When Amen. God sent Jeremiah out, the message was obey God. Obey God. That's it. Sent Isaiah. Message was obey God. That's right. Elisha and Elijah. The message was obey God. That's right. Daniel came along. Amen. Obey God. Amen. Abraham. Obey God. That's right. Moses. Obey God. That's right. But these men today. Amen. Disobey God. Disobey God. That's right. The priests have polluted the sanctuary. That's right. Give me the book of Zephaniah. Zephaniah, amen. There's a lot of air pollution. Oh, yeah. That's right. It's coming from physical exhaust pipes. That's right. Listen at the Bible. In Zephaniah chapter 3 and at verse 1. Follow me. Woe to her that is filthy and polluted. Woe to her that is filthy and polluted. To the oppressing city. To the oppressing city. She obeyed not the voice. She obeyed not the voice. She received not correction. Oh yes. Amen. The American government don't believe in God. No. The American government no, don't, don't want correction. No, no. The American government claim in God we trust. You don't trust God? No, they don't. To trust God, you got to have confidence in God's word. That's right. Now listen, if America truly trusts God, mm -hmm. then you will honor God's law above your law. That's right. And every law that you make will be in full agreement with God's law. That's because right. Because in God we trust. That's right. That's right. You will trust God's decision Hallelujah. before you trust your own. Oh, yes. That's Are you right. listening? That's right. What did he say? She obeyed not the voice. She don't obey the voice. She received not correction. Don't want correction. She trusted not in the Lord. Don't trust in God. She drew not near to her Won't God. Don't get close to God. Her princes within her are roaring lions. Her princes talk a lot. Amen. Her, uh -huh. her judges are her evening judges wolves. Judges are evening wolves. Amen. They gnaw not the bones till the morrow. Yes. Her prophets are light. Her prophets are light. And, and light mm -hmm. here don't mean they're able to guide. No. Or see. That's right. Or instruct. Amen. Her prophets are light, meaning they are unstable. Unstable. That's right. Light here means they're blind. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because light can be so bright you can't see. Can't see. Amen. Oh, the yeah. prophets are light. They are blind. Blind. That's right. And what else? And treacherous they persons. Are treacherous persons. Her priests. Her priests. Have polluted. Have polluted. The sanctuary. The temple. They have done violence. They have done violence. To the law. To the law. That's right. Violence to it. Let us examine hmm. pollution. Pollution. Amen. Pollution is that which is unclean, mm -hmm. unhealthy. Healthy. Cause your body to respond in a negative way. That's right. Pollution, brothers and sisters, that come from the church. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of exhaust. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of marriages the preacher's been putting mm -hmm. in false religion. That's right. A lot of marriages on it. Amen. And they need an oil change. That's right. But they have no oil in no the lamp. In the lamps. Amen. No oil there. They muffler. Hmm. Have a hole so they're noisy. Noisy. That's right. Sound of brass. 
tinkling of a symbol. Tinkling symbol. Mm -hmm. Pollution is false teaching. That's right. That contaminates the mind, soul, body, and spirit of men and women. And women, amen. And when you are polluted Pollution. by false teaching, mm -hmm. the woman becomes a woman apostle. That's right. Pollution. The woman become a woman evangelist. That's right. The woman become a woman bishop That's or right. a deaconess. Amen. Pollution. The man become the assistant pastor to his wife. That's right. Amen. Pollution. Pollution. Oh, yeah. When you have a church where pollution is allowed, mm -hmm. the preacher is performing a wedding of marrying two men. That's right. That's right. And he say, do you, sir, mm -hmm. take this, sir? <laughs> That's right. Amen. Marry two male dogs. Yes. Think of it. Mm -hmm. The creatures that God made in the world have more intelligence. Yes, they do. Than the men today. That's right. You don't find a male dog Mounting up no. on a male dog. No, no. No, no. Because the male dog have got given sense enough to know. That's right. He don't belong there. Don't belong there. Amen. Amen. The government of America and the parliament uh -huh. of the United Kingdom. Right. Is all integrated and in walking hand in hand mm. with the promotion of immoral. Immorals. That's right. They don't see nothing wrong with mm. two men. No. Marrying like the governor of New Jersey, Miss Christy Whitman. Right. Amen. Passed bill. Amen. Made a law mm -hmm. that gay men mm -hmm. can adopt children. Right. My Lord. Talking about two gay men that are married. Two gay men. Mm -hmm. Now. My Lord. When that little boy, you know, a lot of little boys like to give their mother and father a kiss good night. Mm -hmm. So he is a victim of kissing two men. Two men. That's right. In a country that says, in God we trust. God we trust. That's right. You know that's nothing but hypocrisy. That's hypocrisy. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Hmm. The priests have done what? Her priests have polluted the sanctuary. Pollution. Pollution. A lot of smoke so you can't see things clearly. Right. So the false doctrine that's got all in your eyes and irritation. Uh huh. You can't see the scriptures. Mm -hmm. So we come along with the truth. They clear out pollution. Clear it out. Amen. Some pollution affect your eyes so bad you got to pour water in your eyes. Amen. That's right. You need some eye drops. Some eye drops. The scripture says anoint your eyes with eye salves. Amen. Viewers and listeners, mm -hmm. you say you're Christians, but you are polluted Christians. Pollutions. That's right. Nothing but pollution. Pollution. Mm -hmm. I look at your churches on television. Hmm. And see your churches in the neighborhoods, mm -hmm. Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, Amen. Lutheran, mm -hmm. non-denominational, so-called Pentecostal, so-called Apostolic. That's right. Christian Science. Amen. Mormon. Mm -hmm. Muslim. Oh yeah. Mason. That's right. Elk. Amen. Jehovah Witness. Mm -hmm. African Methodist Episcopal. That's right. Protestant. Amen. Presbyterian. Mm -hmm. Seven Days Adventist. Yes. The Ku Klux Klan. That's right. Oh yes, they said they're Christians. They said they're Christians too. Oh yeah, you can't forget them. No, no. Amen. If you are like Christ, like Christ, why is it so much filthy? Dirty teaching, P A W. That's right. 
Amen. You PC? Oh, yes. You churches that say you can remarry and divorce? Amen. That's filth. Filthy. Filthiness. You got bishops stand head of churches. That's right. With a second wife. Amen. Amen. That's a dirty bishop. Dirty bishop. You got diocese bishops over states. Amen. Then divorce three wives. That's right. Dirty, filthy bishops. Filthy bishops. Amen. And his son mm-hmm. done divorced his second wife, and he's the assistant pastor, right. the district elder. That's right. Bible way. Amen. Amen. I'm going to work on you. Amen. I don't care what you think of me. No, no. No, no. All you can do is love me and hate me. Mm-hmm. And that exists in the world before I was born. That's right. Were they ashamed? Listen at the Bible. In Jeremiah chapter 6 and at verse 15. You see, if you got the same spirit of the prophet, your response about these illnesses will be just like theirs. That's right. You would ask. Were they ashamed? Were they ashamed? When they had committed abomination? When they committed abomination? No. Nay. Nay. What? Nay. Amen. Are you ashamed? Mm Mm-hmm. When you marry two women? Two women. Should be. Nay. No shame. No shame. The Ku Klux Klan, they're not ashamed to call themselves Christians mm-hmm. while they plait a rope. That's right. No shame. No shame. That's right. The Bible asks a question here. Were they ashamed? When they had committed, you don't find these so-called Christians on television ashamed? No. Up singing with their breasts hanging out? Oh no, not at all. I mean, no shame. No shame. They don't care what body part they let you see if the camera zoom in on it. That's right. That's right. No shame. No shame. That's right. See their thighs, their hips. You walk the street with just a string in your tail like a dog Go ahead. and say you are Christians. Go ahead. No shame. That's right. Not a shame. And you old folk. My Lord. Who say, I- I've been serving Jesus for a long time now. Amen. And you die in your wig. My Lord. You want to look like you 25 years old. That's right. You want to dress so so you can let young men young whistle men. at your backside. That's right. You want your skirts and dresses about the length of my jacket with high spiked heels and getting your fingernails all done up. Amen. Wearing makeup and arch your eyebrows. That's right. Wearing deep cut clothes and with your back exposed. That's right. No shame. Amen. Your baby's just come in the world go ahead, go and you ahead. got the ears pierced one week old. That's right. No your 15 year old daughter look like a 25 year old hoe. Go ahead. No shame. Go ahead. Go ahead. Amen. Lord help us. It shouldn't be a young girl. Go ahead, Pastor. Coming out of a Christian home. Go ahead. Looking like a whore. That's right. Shouldn't be. And you shouldn't have your mother as an example for whoredom. That's right. Listen to me, mothers. That's right. What can you tell your daughters? Go ahead. Go ahead. If you got more men on your bed than dogs got fleas on his back. Amen. You can't chastise her when a boy comes visit her. No, no. Amen. You have become the female example My Lord. of being doggish. Doggish, that's right. You out in the summertime with the halter. That's right. You out in the summertime with hot pants on. Amen. And you will find these halter wearing hot pants women up in some church singing on choir rehearsal. That's right. While they have a council meeting with the preacher. That's right. Go ahead. You've been in over fixing his teeth. My Lord. With hot pants. Make it plain. Go ahead. Cut your eyes back at vision. That's right. My Lord. 
Amen. 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 Act like you're in the spirit. That's right. That's the devil out of hell. Amen. Go ahead. All under the heading of Christian. Christian. That's right. Because the dog you got in the pulpit, Go he's supposed to know better. Go ahead. That's right. But when you look in this house, Go ahead. you turn your television on, mm -hmm. the preacher Amen. and his wife. Amen. Her breast is out. That's right. Her face is made up. That's right. She got splits all in her splits clothes. In her her clothes. nails is purple. Amen. Her lips is red. Her cheeks is yellow. And her eyebrows is white. That's right. That's right. Christians. Christians. Amen. The word Christian means new creature. New creature. That's right. That's new right. creature. New creature. The Bible said, if any man. Therefore, if any man. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me in your Bible, viewers and listeners. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Yes. And at verse 17. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Follow me in your Bible. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Chapter 5. Verse 17. Verse 17. We are evaluating Christianity today. Amen. Amen. That's what we're working on. That's right. So-called Christianity. So-called. That's right. So-called. Right. So-called. Listen. Therefore, if any man be in Christ. If any man. Any man. Don't tell me what color you are. I don't care. No. Amen. Same God made you, made me. That's right. Your skin don't put you above me. No, no. You got to eat like I do, go to the bathroom like I do, and sleep like I do, and live to please God like I do. That's right. What the hell are you going? That's right. Yes. Amen. Are you listening to me? Amen. If any man be in Christ, any man, any man, that got Prince Charles, got him, that got, got him. Clinton, that's right, that's right, that got the racist, the racist, uh, radio programmer Rush Humbard, yeah, got him too, is that right? Yeah. Amen. Go ahead. That got him. Any man. That's right. That got Al Green. Got him. Little Richard. That's right. They said what they got to do with it. They said they're preachers. That's what they say. That got MC Hammer. That's right. You boys say you preachers now. That's right. That's what they say. Is that right? That's right. You ain't gonna walk around here and say you're a Christian and get away with it. That's no, right. Sir. No, no. Go ahead. And use your name and your rock and roll background right. to draw a crowd and That's make right. money? No, sir. Oh, no, no. Not so. The Bible says. Therefore, if any man. If any man. Be in Christ. Be in Christ. He. He. Is a new creature. And if he's a new creature, what is the effects of this newness? Old things are passed away. Amen. So if all things are passed away, passed away. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mr. Hammer. Right. That's right. If all things are passed away. That's right. There is no more of this. No more of that. No, no. Passed away. That's passed away. Passed away. That's right. Mr. Richard. Go ahead, Pastor. If all things can pass away. Go ahead. No more. Woo no, no more. more. That's right. Passed away. That's no more. No more. That's right. That's right. Passed. Passed but they away. wear the title Christian right. loosely. That's right. Very because loose. they don't even respect the word. No, they don't. And when you don't respect it, it is proof you don't even honor the life that Christ lived. That's right. They merchandise his name. Merchandise his name. Amen. Little Richard, you make up face wearing press head hypocrite. If Amen. you respect God, you will be a modest man. That's right. Would be. You yes, look would like be. a modest man. That's right. Yes, he would. 
Bible said put a difference. That's right. Between holiness unholy. and unholy. That's right. There ain't right. no preacher got a business looking like a sissy. No, no. Acting like a woman. Amen. No business. Am I right, brothers? Amen. Am I right, I say? Amen. Talk back to me. Amen. That's right. That's right. This is pollution. Pollution. That's that what it Satan is. took the word Christian. Right. And put over the pollution That's so you right. try not to see the pollution. Can't see it. Mm-hmm. He camouflaged it with the word Christian. Right. So Al Green, they get up and call himself a preacher. Uh huh. And have women in the pulpit uh-huh. dancing on each side. That's right. That's right. That's what they do. And you out there have been so manipulated by this trash. Amen. You say, well, God is using him too. If a man is used of God. Amen. When you say used of God. Used of God. Oh, yeah. God is a spirit Spirit. of cleanliness. That's right. God's spirit is different from the spirit of the devil. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. God's spirit won't have me acting like the world. No, no. Like sinners. Amen. God's spirit will transform me to transform. walk like him. That's right. Talk like him. Amen. Think like him. That's right. Act like him. Hallelujah. Him. Act like him. Amen. That's right. That's right. It won't be a so called Christian rapper. Amen. Walking the earth. No, no. Not a Christian nightclub. Amen. Not a Christian dating game. That's right. Not a Christian party. That's right. Nowhere in the world. No, no. But they took the label Christian and made it synonymous just with sinner. That's right. Is that right? That's right. That's right. If Kirk Franklin. Go ahead. Call his name. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. See, I keep telling you, I don't care if you sue me. That's right. See, the Holy Ghost said, nigga, I came to the world, nigga, I shall return. return. So I ain't got nothing to give you no how. Amen. If Kirk Franklin. Go ahead. Supposed to be a so-called Christian. Amen. You wouldn't find his music playing at a low-down sinner's party. No, no. No way. You wouldn't find his so-called Christian videos exploiting young girls, young girls. with shorts bending their backside over to be praised. That's looking right. Looking like hoes. That's right. No, no. But you know that junk no, have not been of Christ. That's right. Money. That's it. That's what it is. If they gotta act like dogs, long as money. That's right. They not filled with the power of God. They filled with the power of hell. Hell. That's right. That's right. You get your Emmy, your Global, your Oscar, but there's another reward coming. There's another reward coming. That's right. Viewers. What makes this program different mm-hmm. from the normal junk? <laughs> Amen. Amen. That you've been so used to looking at. Seeing. God is with us. That's it. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. The fear of God is preached here. That's right. These men don't preach the fear of God. They preach business, business. prosperity, Amen. money. Amen. They don't preach the fear of God and obey Him. No, no. Money. Money. That's to it. them, money is power. That's right. To us, God is power. That's right. That's the right. The Bible said to us that are saved. Amen. It is the power it of God. It is the power of God. Unto salvation. Unto salvation. That's right. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Pollution. Pollution. That's what it is. A Christian drunk. My Lord. A lesbian woman. 
Talking about she's a Christian. That's right. Or go on one of these talk shows and be applauded. Amen. All someone got to do that's famous is say they came out the closet. That's right. That's right. Just come out the closet, out the closet. and admit to the world, uh, yes, I, I am gay. I'm yes, gay. I am gay. I didn't want to tell no one, but yes, I am gay. And I'm also a Christian in uh, such, and such a seminary school learning the way of Christ, but uh, I believe I can juggle Christ and my gay life too. Hallelujah. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And what would the audience do? Applaud it. That's right. What? They give the person their approval. Their approval. Amen. Bible said if any man be in Christ. He is a new creature. He is a new creature. Old things. Old things are passed, are passed away. When you're passed away, you're dead. 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 <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. When you say he passed away. He passed you ain't away. even look for them no more. No, no. When that old thing in your life had passed away, Amen. no one sees it no more. That's right. It's dead. dead. Bible right. says you're dead and your life is dead. hid with Christ in God. That's right. That's right. Oh, Hallelujah. Glory old to God. Old things are passed old away. Old things are passed away. Behold. Behold. All things. Everything. Are become new. Everything. All, all things. That's right. It's new now. New now. That's right. Time I used to wear my wig outside. Uh huh. That's passed away. That's an old thing. An old thing. Passed away. That's right. That's now, right. Fellow, the time you used to wear your toupee. Amen. That was too small. Old thing. You try to cover the back of your head so you pull it. That's right. Too much front, you pull it back. Amen. Passed away. Well, you ain't God now. You don't need it. Don't need that. Passed away. That's right. Your whole outlook on life is from a divine perspective. That's right. You no longer look at life according to the will of the flesh from a kernel thought, but you look at it from the will of God. Amen. Your what? total interest is what God wants. What he wants. That's right. How can I please him? That's right. What can I do for him? That's right. How? What do God want me to think? That's right. Only, I, I got to go. No, I can't go there. Why? God say I can't. God say. That's right. You go in and I can't touch that. Why? God said God I can't. Say, that's right. <laughs> Amen. Your greatest concern. Amen. Your greatest concern. That's right. Is what God thinks. What does God think? You are so concerned about what God thinks. Amen. You will not enlist in the military that's of right. America. That's right. That's right. No Navy. Go ahead. No Army. No, no. No Marines. That's right. No Coast Guard. That's right. That's right. We don't go to war. For the weapons. America can't have our brothers and sisters. That's right. If you put out a draft, we won't go. Amen. We'll go to jail before we go. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Are you listening? Go ahead. Why? We are concerned about what God said. What does God think? And God said, thou shalt not, not kill. kill. That's right. Then he moved on, Paul, and tell us the weapon of our warfare. Not, not carnal. It's not carnal. But mighty through God. You see, we already are warriors. That's right. We already are soldiers. Amen. We already are fighters. That's right. We are in God's army. Amen. And the army that we're in, we don't take the one life, but God take our life. That's right. That's right. We don't take lives. No, no. God take ours. Take, that's right. And then we give it willingly. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Take God. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. You understand? That's right. We give it willingly. That's right. And the Bible says you're killed. That's all the all day long. All the day long. All the day long. Glory to God. Glory to God. Therefore. Listen at the Bible. Therefore, if any man be in Christ. What is it? He is a new creature. Are you a new creature, Christian? My Lord. Hmm. Are you? Amen. Then get that six pack of beer out your house. That's right. You got a bar counter in your house? Amen. Get rid of all your alcohol and serve some orange juice, some milk. That's right. Cookies and some tang. Amen. Some Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid. Some Amen. fresh spring water. That's right. Get rid of the vodka and the gin and the beer. Amen. You a new creature? New creature. Hmm. 
The woman, get your pants off. That's right. Get out your shorts. Amen. Use a new creature. New creature. Stop smoking. That's right. Stop playing the lottery. Amen. Catholic Church. Go ahead. Go ahead. Catholic Church. Go ahead. New creature, new you creature. play bingo in the church? Amen. Right in the church. Right in the church. Right bingo. In That's right. That's right. The priest is saying 24, 25, uh -huh. 3, 5, the nun, the bingo. That's right. That's right. Bible say new creature. New creature. Amen. Just throw out your deck of cards. That's right. This religion, take the dice out your hand. Hold this. Get rid of your dice. Oh, yeah. Get rid of your cards. Amen. Get rid of your checkerboard. Mm -hmm. Your chess game. That's right. Your raffle tickets. That's right. New creature. Go ahead. Take you out the beautician parlor. Amen. Drives you out the bar. Yes. Take you out the nightclub. That's right. Get you off that man. That's right. Get you off that woman. Am I right? That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. It put clothes on you. Amen. No clothes. Yet. It give you a sense of respect and decency. That's right. That's what holiness does. Holiness. Amen. What did he say? Therefore, if any man be in Christ. It get the rosary chain out your hand. Yeah. That's right. It take away your rosary chain that you use to hypnotize folk. That's right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You understand? That's right. That's right. The Holy Ghost says what? Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Why? Old things are passed away. You no more wearing high spike, blood red heel shoes. No more. Toes and heels and sides all out with your big toenails painted. That's right. That's right. You no more out wearing minks and fox. Amen. Full of foolish. No more nail hardener. No more nail hardener. Which ain't nothing but neutral nail polish. That's right. You men no more wear earrings. No, no. Nor the women. Amen. No more jewel, no jewels in your lips pierced and your tongue pierced pierce. and your eyebrows pierced and your navel pierced. Right. No more of that. No more of that. Passed away. You stop running to the tattoo store. Go ahead. No carvings in your flesh. That's right. You won't do that no more. Is that right? <laughs> You understand? The time you used to run to the tattoo store to get your flesh carved and cut and engraved. Now, that old method has passed away. No more. Sitting there getting a little tattoo on your calf, woman. So when you're walking, your calf flex. See, a lot of you women, you get your tattoo on places that you know men is prone to look at. Am I right? Do you get tattoos right where your breast is? Now, you know a tattoo on your breast is no good when you got a high neck. So you don't raise, you don't wear a high neck garment. That's right. You lower it. In Leviticus. Is that right? That's right. So you can have the tattoo right where your breast is. <laughs> Amen. So when a man come by, why? Well, how you? How you doing? That's right. And you move that one arm that pushed that one breast. Go ahead. So the tattoo look like is waving at the man. That's right. Amen. Am I right, brother? That's right. That's right. Listen, if you got to paint yourself up and use your meat as a worm, as a low bait. Low bait. Mm. To attract a man, what your God isn't worth having. That's right. Let's get the tattooing. In Leviticus chapter 19. The book of Leviticus, 19th chapter. And at verse 28. And verse 28. Ye Leviticus chapter 19. Verse 28. Verse 28. Amen. Listen, ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. 
Amen. <laughs> Amen. Ye shall not make any cuttings. Any. That goes for you too, mister. That's right. That's right. You put your woman on your arm right where your muscle is. Right. You know. That's right. So you can flex it. Flex it. Act like you're scratching your head, then just flex your arm. That's right. Amen. Oh, to God. Amen. That's right. You resort to low methods to get attention under the heading Christian. Christian. That's right. Come on, son. Ye shall not make any cuttings Ye in your flesh. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. For the dead. For the dead. Nor print. Nor print. Any marks. Any marks. Upon you. Upon you. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. That's right. Amen. You arch your eyebrows and almost take them off your head. That's right. And then replace it with a pencil. With a pencil. What's Amen. wrong with the way God made you? That's right. You are so influenced by the media, you so-called Christians. Mm -hmm. The media make you hate the way God made you. Amen. So you go get breast implants. Right. Silicon ain't made for men. No, no. What God put on you is made for your made husband. For, that's right. You go get silicon. Mm -hmm. Get your hips stuffed with old newspapers and cotton and sponges. Amen. Amen. Is that right? That's right. That's right. What's wrong with the way God made What's you that you got to get the thickness of your lips cut? That's right. Your nose shape restructured. Amen. Don't like the skin color God made you so you get it bleached or tanned. That's right. That's the right. media threw and by the power and the influence of hell itself right. make you hate yourself. That's right. That's right. And make you hate yourself hate until yourself. you come in public disgracing yourself half naked. Amen. The very clothes that is produced by the market and upheld by the media keep you naked and whoredom. That's right. So you'll buy a skirt this long. Amen. Amen. You mothers abide on your daughter. Oh, yeah. Is that right? Yes, they will. That's right. Come on, son. In Leviticus 19 and at verse 29. What is it? Do not prostitute thy daughter. Amen. Don't do what? Do not prostitute thy daughter. Amen. Are you listening to what the Bible said? Amen. You see a 15-year-old girl today? Mm -hmm. She's mistaken easily for 20, 25. She's out there half naked, all painted up. That's right. And go buy some fake hair from Rite Aid or CBS. That's right. Oh, or yeah. from Ecker Drug. Amen. Or the nearest corner store that sell uh, long paintbrushes. That's right. Oh, Amen. like long paintbrush hair. That's what it looks like. Her hair is black and she get red mm -hmm. hair put in it. That's right. And some of you are so sick and contaminated by pollution, mm -hmm. you'll buy powder blue hair. Right. Yes, they will. Why is this done for attention? That's right. That's right. Now, if you don't know no better, I don't blame you. No. Don't think I hate you or we're making mockery of you. We're trying to pull you out of pollution so you can walk with God. That's right. Amen. We ain't teasing you or mocking you. We're telling you God's law. God's law. That's God right. wants you to clean up your act. That's right. These preachers, they ain't got nothing to clean you. No, no. It's like taking dirty clothes, putting in a wash machine, turn the water on, wash, but you forgot detergent. You just got dry, wet, dirty clothes. That's right. 
Then said I, Listen. In Ezekiel chapter 4 and at verse 14. What did it say? Then said I, Ah, oh Lord God. Ah, oh Lord God. Behold. Behold. My soul. My soul. Hath not been polluted. Hath not been polluted. For from my youth up. From my youth up. Even till now. Even to now. Have I not eaten. Have I not eaten. Of that which dieth of itself. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. This is what you want to be able to say, That's viewers right. and listeners. That's right. Once you come out of pollution, you want to say, yes, now I have not been polluted. Not been polluted. That's right. Obedience. Clear up the atmosphere of pollution. That's right. You don't get caught up in the same trend of everybody else. The smoking, the drinking, the gambling, the Christmas partying. Amen. Having your family over your house for a card party. Amen. And serving your uncles and aunts and your drunken daddy and his twin drunken brother beer. That's right. That's right. And just sit around the house and curse around his children. Amen. And curse around his wife. That's right. Then go to church Sunday. That's right. I'm so glad. Jesus, live. your skin is so oily. My Lord, You're my Lord. sweating vodka. Amen. That's truth. Vodka coming all out your face. That's right. Coming all out your hands. Amen. Coming all out your breath. That's right. You flood your mouth with tic tac and lifesavers, but it just can't kill the gin. That's right. That's right. Amen. What have you churches become? Mm hmm. A habitation of devils. Devils. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. The 18th chapter of the book of Revelation. Revelation. Amen. Listen. Amen. Revelation, Revelation chapter, 18. chapter 18, begin at verse 1. At verse 1. Listen. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven. Having great power. Having great power. And the earth was lightened with his glory. The earth was illuminated with his, with his presence. And he cried mightily with a strong voice. And what? Saying, Babylon the great is Babylon, fallen. Babylon the great is fallen. That's right. Is fallen. Is fallen. The deeds of the people in the old time. Mm -hmm. And the conduct of the cities of old time. Amen. Represent the repeat of this time. That's right. Exactly. That the same acts of the past sin will bring in the present. That's right. That's right. Let us evaluate Babylon. Babylon. Amen. It was a place of renowned trade oh, with yeah. the merchant ships. That's right. Mer Prosperous place. Merchandise of gold. Of its time, it was the best and most known kingdom. That's true. Nebuchadnezzar was the most popular king of his time. That's right. The most powerful king of his time. That's right. Babylon was an ancient world power. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Beautiful city. Oh, yes. Prosperous. Prosperous. Now, listen. Babylon the Great is falling. America mm -hmm. Same thing. Has the spirit of Babylon. That's right. Same spirit. It is a modern Babylon and a modern Sodom and Gomorrah. That's true. That's right. For even in Babylon in its greatness, wickedness was alive, was alive. and well. Amen. Listen. Babylon the great is fallen. Babylon the great is fallen. Is fallen. Is fallen. And it's become the habitation. It is become. Hold it. Notice the language of the Bible. And is become. My time is gone. <laughs> Turn it again. Next radio broadcast and next telecast. We'll pick this up and finish. Right to me. May God forever open your understanding that you may understand our knowledge and the mystery of Christ. Turn in again next week. We'll be glad to help you.